In today's video, we'll learn how to automatically create these cool looking animated captions right inside Premiere Pro. However, since Premiere Pro doesn't natively support animated captions, I looked for the best available extension that wasn't tied to an overpriced monthly subscription. I looked at quite a few options such as Brevity, AutoCut, FireCut, but for an extension they just seemed too expensive for me. In the end, I narrowed it down to two choices, Submachine or Captioneer. And after trying both, Captioneer stood out as a little bit more advanced one with a cleaner interface and also a cheaper one-time purchase. Not to mention the 14-day free trial as well. So let's see how to use it. To get started, head over to their website, the link will be in the description, and click try for free. Then enter your email and you'll get a download link sent to your inbox. Once there, download the extension and if you haven't already, install the ZXP installer as well. This tool is required to install extensions for Premiere Pro. So once installed, simply drag and drop the Captioner ZXP file into the ZXP installer and then open Premiere Pro. Once open, go to Window, Extensions and enable it. Now a box will appear with two options and since we used a lemon squeezy link, let's select that. At this point, if you have, you can enter your license here or simply choose a trial mode. After that, restart Premiere Pro. Okay, so as you can see, I already imported some footage, but before we start generating captions, we also need to import the provided subtitle templates as well by clicking the settings icon in Captioner panel and then selecting the downloaded Mogurts folder. By the way, you can also activate your license in here as well. Now, to generate captions, navigate to the text panel. If you don't see it, just go to window and enable text. From there, go to transcript and hit transcribe. Once it's done, check for any grammar mistakes and then click the CC button. Here, we can adjust the subtitle parameters as we want. For shorts, I like to use these settings, but feel free to experiment to find what works best for you. With basic captions generated, it's finally time to make them look good. Head over to the captioner and then select the first captions track option. Then on the second panel, choose your preferred subtitle animation. I'll go with karaoke style. For text input, I'll use single line. And lastly, I'll add subtitles to the second track. We can either generate for the entire sequence or for a specific section, but sequence works fine for me. Now, depending on your computer and the length of your video, generating could take from a few seconds to a minute or so. Once it's done, let's delete or simply hide the original captions and see what we got. In today's video, we'll learn how to automatically create these cool looking animated captions right inside Premiere Pro. I think that looks pretty good, but we can further customize it. Let's select any subtitle and go to Effect Controls panel and then expand Graphic Parameters. Here we will see a lot of customization options. By the way, if you are using an older version of Premiere, try looking for the Essential Graphics panel instead, as it was just recently changed. In here, you can adjust position, size, text, fonts, colors, strokes and basically anything that you can imagine of. Personally, for this one, I like the look of the default style but I already adjusted the position and scale. So now if I want to apply those changes to every caption, we can do that by selecting one that we've just modified and then in the captioners panel, click update and then press copy. Then select all the remaining captions and press paste. Give it a moment and everything will update with the new style. If you're gonna want to save this modified style for future projects, um, it's a little bit more complicated, so I will make sure to leave an explanation video in the description. Now, if you decide to switch to another style, you can simply generate them again on the same or different track. Also, one quick note, the first time you install extension, Adobe might not load fonts properly. If that happens, try to manually drag Mogwarts from graphic panel into the timeline and then restart Premiere Pro. That should fix it. And that's about it. If you're interested, you can also grab my 10 free Premiere Pro presets in description, including the pop-in subtitle effect. And if you want even more, I'll also leave a link to my essential presets pack as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.